We are at Irana's Pastry and Bistro, preparing for Ponchki Day, which is a pretty big holiday here in the States, but also uh, back home in Poland. Back in Poland, uh, it's actually celebrated on a Thursday, so it's called Fat Thursday. And the reason for that is, is, is you know, Lent is a time of fasting. So this is where you want to use up all perishable items, your milk, butter, eggs, alcohol, to imagine combining all those ingredients together, you get ponczek. So that's how the tradition kind of started. Ponczki is already in the plural form. One is ponczek. So, you know, Ponczki is just multiple. There are different types of flavors that are very traditional back in Poland. We have rose, um, which is literally made out of rose petals, and then plum butter. The reason kind of for that is because those were available also in the area. Use only a little bit because it's all about the dough. The dough must taste good. You know, in the filling, it's like the aroma. It goes into the dough a little bit when you fry it. But it's all about the dough. My mother came here with her parents in 1981 and uh, they began making sausages and gomki and just like Polish you know things, uh, pierogi and my mom she started doing pastry things. So this is the recipe from a good friend of mine. Her father was like pastry maker and he got from his mom so it's, uh, it's like traditional every year. The ingredients you use, I use dry uh, yeast, uh, sugar, flour, yolks, and uh, butter. That's it, and, and I put uh, spiritus to it. <laughs> That's it. The process of making ponczki is uh, a very long one, and it's because of the dough you need to wait for it to rise, because if you don't wait, they're going to turn out flat, which you don't want. You want them to be round, nice and fluffy. Your hands start to hurt because it's a lot of manipulation of the dough to, you know, to form the ponczek itself. But my mom would be here all night, right, leading up to ponczki day, especially the day before. She would definitely, she wouldn't come home just to keep, you know, keep it going. On Fat Tuesday, it's pretty intense. I mean, the line definitely goes out the door and wraps around, and it's just constant, you know. It's good, which is obviously very good business and also passing on the tradition to individuals who come here, which is really important for us.